Alrighty, let's watch this. This is a longer piece. There is no sound, but cool stuff with a cool set. Neat action there. This one has me a bit confused, but has a cool feel already. That's fairly cool there. That's cool too. And then you're writing that the ending is potentially not quite what you're looking for. And I agree, it's a bit, it's a bit anticlimactic. It kind of just ends. So you are in, what is this here? Lay out an early blocking pass. It's pretty cool. Not that you can add weird trees and stuff, but we kind of need if there were elements here of something that can kind of like whip by camera. Give it of energy just a little bit. Or right off the bat, you're even before the chopper comes in, you're showing some fire. Something going on there. Because so you have something here, which seems to be that is at that point hitting fairly close right behind the dragon there doing stuff. That's okay. I think but this as a as an opening is pretty cool. I think what I would do. Once we have this here and it gets into that, it might be kind of depends on how far you want to take this and how far you can take this in terms of effects and stuff. I would love for this to have, like I said, earlier shots. Maybe it's even a bit lower and comes up so it gets closer, closer and closer till the very end here where there's like a bigger, I don't know if it's an explosion behind or a bigger snow gust there. And I'm, I'm almost imagining this would almost have more smoke. I know this is probably like, I'm not doing this, I'm just doing animation, but visually I'm imagining just a puff of smoke and stuff rolling down and then it, it obscures the chopper and then the chopper comes through and then it would have some turbulence in the in the smoke as it breaks through and then pa, 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 pa. I will keep shooting here to have stuff happening here. We have it here, but it seems very edgy. That's the main thing. I would probably take this dragon and bank it here and not so far because as we continue, we're ending fairly middle of the screen and I think if you move everything a bit more screen right, you have a turn in the dragon here-ish, so that exit here is a bit more, less vertical, but a bit more diagonal and also here. So you have a nice dynamic exit there. And this coming out, this by this, I mean the chopper. This might go a bit, a bit high and lopsided there. Now, to be honest, I would have to look at more chopper reference to really get the physics of that, but I feel like we can stay a bit lower on this arena to edge was right now we're so high and so left that I think it could be interesting if the path is here of the dragon choppers still kind of staying low so you have a bit more of this just the thought but it's cool then I was a bit confused I wasn't sure what what this is is this just a different angle of the same animation and then we realized oh there are two so right now this is slightly confusing in terms of where this is coming from and where we are. And I wonder if the dragon is high up there and this comes in. No, it's on the same height. I was thinking if there's anything we turn and it's and it's a view of the dragon from behind as it's doing something and maybe goes up and as it wipes up and, and exit screen a bit, the chopper here comes in. So we understand at least Dragon is flying away from us, so we understand what's back and what's the front, and then this is something new coming in from the front. That's kind of initial thought. I just wish we could find something where we can connect these two a bit more. Even if it's something where maybe we are a bit further away, we see more of the landscape, or maybe we're lower here, and we have a, it's a tricky thing, but we have the dragon flying away from us, then more fire pa, 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 that hits things which makes the the dragon turn around and bank and then we have another chopper coming in here just so it links the, sh the two shots a bit more from here to here because then once we get to this this is cool i like this i like that we have this the depth of all this the different elements here and then landing oh, it's still a bit rough in terms of what's going on it feels a bit light Especially here as it turns, we have a bit more weight to it. 
But it's a cool idea, and I will probably find a way to bring that chopper maybe a bit higher, so that at this point it's up here. So we still have a very clear separation, so we don't lose it too much. And then this feels a bit rough there as it goes sideways and really, really fast. But as a general idea, I like the shot a lot. Really cool. We might have to play a little bit with some depth of field. That's tricky with a lens like this. I right, still so want enough to be in focus, but I wish that background was less busy and maybe less in focus. So this would stand out more. But you could potentially play a bit with different lighting. Where it's just kind of like a pool of sunlight coming in. And this happens to be in the shadow to give us a bit more of a silhouette of those objects that are lighter. But this is cool too. Again, as it does this, I think to me, I would go. It's, it feels like it's going a bit early on and it's massive thanks to overcorrect and control. And I wonder if this could be a bit flatter so that the hit. Mm, that's tricky, but then it's going to cut with the rotors into the thing. I see what you're doing here. It's just this. Once it lands there, I feel like the weight will push that chopper down. And then we're too low, so my thought was that the dragon would be higher for this, and then the chopper would be up here. I mean, what you can also do is that the chopper comes in more from this angle, and the dragon's a bit below, and is in a way able to pow, kick it from below, which then makes the chopper turn to its side so that there's enough room for the dragon to come in to not be hit by these guys. I mean, one thing you can do, what is going on here, it's turning. It could also be something where there might be just enough of a hit through the tail that breaks the chopper a bit. So that choo -choo 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 the rotors come off. Which then, of course, ruins the shot because it's not. It's here, actually, the chopper that turns. I'm just not sure how you're going to make this work. This is why I'm thinking out loud here for those ideas. How can we make this work so that it's not cutting cutting the dragon here because at this point this is not going to work i do like the shot a lot in terms of the chaos that's up close we see this more nice pose there rah, 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 i can do stuff like that could it be something hear me out this could be totally crazy we might have to lengthen the shot a bit and have this chopper coming a bit a bit slower but it could be a thing of rah, fire <sighs> that burns things and it has light explosion that, so that the the um, the rotor is not moving anymore. It might be broken, maybe slightly bent. So that at this point, the only thing that's happening is the backside here. This is turning, but this is not anymore. It's kind of broken and it's less of a turn, but more of a out of control turn drop. And we follow down and we see stuff in the background flying past and some debris and, some debris and smoke. And this is more of a free fall down. That could be something. But I do agree that then at the end it's a bit um, anticlimactic where we just kind of end. It could be something. Again, hear me out. What if we do something like this where we're falling? Okay, this is all broken. The only backside rotor here is is moving, and we're falling, and it has its claw on it. And it's kind of biting into it, doing stuff. And as it falls, imagine. I need a clean frame. Imagine. So you're framing, or not you're framing, but this is the chopper, dragon, camera. And throughout the shot, as the chopper and dragon fall, the camera starts to go up and starts looking down. So that at the end, if this is your thing, is that we see the chopper get away from us. Dragon is in the foreground, flap, 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 and staying kind of in the air as it lets go. And the chopper falls down and at the end explodes as it falls into the ground or maybe the water and this could be an interesting dynamic shot as the camera goes from this view what you have sideways to just maybe it doesn't even have to go up it just kind of moves over with a with a tilt down since they are falling i hope that makes sense <laughs> i'll leave it at that let me know some really cool beginnings uh, there's some really cool stuff in there let me know what your thoughts because i don't go too far into this where you're like ah, i'm not gonna do this i'm gonna do something else but that could be something for the end to give us a cool view of looking down and see. The, I, I, I'm imagining a top view of the dragon, you know, covering this side, head, wings flapping, and the, and the chopper that's slightly obscured by the wing. But as it falls, it will fall to the size of 
you know, maybe this size. You know, tumble, smoke comes towards us. And maybe. And then, like, and then it's covering, like, the might and the power of the dragon is overpowering the frame. And the adversary got very small at the end to show the power balance. I don't know. Might be reading too much into this, but that is my thought for that. All right. <laughs> Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.